long time no see. I had a lot going on. I got married, what? And then I had a gig um, for New Year's Eve, which was awesome, but I'm back. So let's jump right in. We're gonna do chocolate covered strawberries because it's the Valentine's Day is coming up. And so um, I got my strawberries here and whether you're gonna dip these in chocolate or not, this is a great way to make your strawberries last longer. Just take your um, box of strawberries and here's some fresh water just from the tap and some apple cider vinegar and shake it up shake it up all right shake it because all that good zhuzh is at the bottom and you're just gonna pour some of this apple cider vinegar in your water just like that's good a couple tablespoons of it i don't really measure for this okay you just put it in there and now i'm going to put my um strawberries into this little concoction right and you're going to zhuzh them around now we're gonna let them sit here for about three minutes and then we're going to um, take them off, dry them off with a paper towel and leave them out to dry. I'll show you that part when we get there um, because this is gonna make your berries last so much longer, regardless of if you just put them back in the fridge or if you dip them in chocolate, okay? So I'll see you in a few minutes when it's time to get them out of the water. Bye-bye. So your berries are probably ready. Um, I'm going to take this colander and I'm gonna dump the berries into the colander and get just the berries and let the rest of that go. <laughs> Boom, done. And you'll see there's a lot of schmooge in uh, your bowl after you do that. I'm gonna give them a quick rinse. And if you're worried about the apple cider vinegar, like making your berries taste bitter, it ain't gonna happen, trust me, cause I've already tried this. Um, so just take a few paper towels there and take each berry and just kind of pat it dry. And what I like to do, look at this one. This one's got some like zhuzh on it. I'll probably cut that off. Anyway, I like to set them stem side down, like pull the stems away just a little bit. This is if you're gonna dip them, right? Just a little like that and then set them up like that to dry because you want the berry to be completely dry and room temperature before you dip it in chocolate if it's too cold the chocolate's going to be affected if it's wet the chocolate is going to be just gross it's going to seize up and it's not going to set properly so just set these here like this and then once these are completely dry and room temperature, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to dip these bad boys and then decorate them and uh, make them super pretty for your sweetheart for Valentine's Day, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna go watch some um, crime porn because that's my favorite thing ever. Uh, Forensic Files or Dateline? Discuss. Here we go. The strawberries are dry and I have put a toothpick in each one. See right there, I put a toothpick right there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna gather the little stem thing up around the toothpick. You're gonna hold on to that when you dip it. I have melted some white chocolate. I have melted some pink chocolate and I've got little sprinkly things, little sugars, little sanding sugars. You can dip these in anything or just the chocolate, okay? Uh, so we're gonna start right now and we'll start with white okay why not so you're going to take your little cup of white it can't be too hot you guys all right or else it's just gonna seize up and be gross so i'm gonna stick it down in here and swoosh it around a little and pull it out and give it a little swirly swirl shaky deal right keep going until it's just about all off now you can see my berry is covered and I think I'm gonna smoosh this one in some crushed up strawberry wafers. So I'm gonna just roll it in there and it's gonna be so pretty. I can't wait to show it to ya. Oh my God, it's so pretty and so tasty. All right, look at that, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So then I'm just gonna set it on my parchment paper. You wanna put all these down on parchment paper uh, so that it will dry up nicely and not get all over your counter. All right, so let's take another one. We'll take this big pretty one. We're gonna squish up the little things. This time we'll dip in pink, okay? So I'm taking my pink chocolate and my berry and I'm sticking it in there and I'm swishing it around a little bit and I'm bringing it out and shaking it off. You see that? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And I am now going to put this down on the parchment paper and then give it a light sprinkle of some, um, some of, let's go with these. See, these are pink and white sprinkles together. I'm just gonna get a little, and I'm gonna do just a little diagonal of, on one side of it. I'll do that. And then 
I'll take some sprinkles, some pink sprinkle sanding sugar, and maybe put that on the other side. And this you kind of have to do quick because if you don't, your chocolate's gonna set up and then your sprinkles aren't gonna stick. Okay, see, look at that. See, little sprinkles, little stuff, and stick it back on the parchment paper and let it set up. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of these on my own. You don't have to watch me do every single one of them unless like you really wanna watch me. Um, but I wanna show you this other technique that is totally cool. Um, so I'm gonna get, let's dip it, let's do pink. Take some of your pink chocolate and here's your white chocolate. Now look, I'm just gonna plop some of the pink chocolate in there. I will show it to you when I get done. And I'm plopping and I'm plopping and I'm plopping. Just on, now don't stir it up, okay? Now look, you see how it's just plopped in there? So I'm gonna take a berry. I'll take a big berry for this one. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna twist my arm around because I'm gonna dip it in there and I'm gonna twist it and pull it up and it's gonna be like a um, swirl effect, okay, watch. I'm dipping it all the way in. I'm getting it all nice and gooey and then I'm gonna pull up and swirl as I pull up. Look at that, okay? Look at that, isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna set it here, and what should I put on it? Let's put some of the pink and um, silver sprinkles on this one. Take a little spoonful, and give a little sprinkle. Give a little sprinkle. Boom, that one's done, all right? See how easy this is? It's super de duper easy. Now, there's also where you can drizzle the chocolate over it and they look really pretty with the little stripes. So. I'm going to, that has to be after your chocolate sets up. So I'm gonna do some of them and I'm gonna leave them plain so that we can come back and I can show you the drizzle gig, okay? All right, look at these pretty, pretty berries. I'm gonna give you a better picture of them, uh, but we're gonna do the chocolate drizzle now. So I have put some uh, chocolate in a piping bag with, uh, and I cut the tip just at the, you do this with a baggie and you just cut the baggie. So you wanna scoop it down. I wrap my finger around so that it doesn't splooge out the top cause that's gross. Um, and then you wanna test it a little bit and see, yep, that's drizzle worthy. So you gotta give a little bit of pressure to it, but not too much. It's just something you have to try. So you take your berries. I lined my um, berries up right here. And you're gonna start on one end. You wanna go past it each time because you don't want it to be uh, just down the middle unless you're doing some pretty little drizzle thing, which uh, we will do on one of them. But for this one, we're just gonna go back and forth and back and forth, all right? I'm gonna try that right here so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna start behind it. And then you're just gonna drizzle, 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 drizzle. That's it, right? Now, if you want it, you can even add sprinkles to that. So I will take a few of these and just kind of la, 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 la. boom, boom, and boom. It's all pretty, okay? Look, look at that, okay? Isn't that pretty? And I'm gonna add it to my little collection of pretty berries over here. And now I'm gonna do the white one and let's do a little pattern on that, all right? We're gonna go swoop and swoop and swoop and swoop and swoop and swoop all right so you can leave it just like that all right or you can take it <laughs> but wait you could also take some of your sprinkle zhuzh sprinkle 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 and the sprinkles will capture wherever the chocolate was which mine did look Boom, it's done. There's another one right there. See how easy this is? It's so easy. And it's fun to do with kids um, if they're not in the way, because I mean, sometimes, you know, you're like, just hold my, mm. okay. So I'm gonna drizzle this one here. All right, boom, boom, boom. I'm just drizzling back and forth and drizzle, 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 drizzle. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. You can do as little or as much as you want. Who cares? All right, I'm gonna take some of the, uh, some of this business, the sprinkly sand zhuzh, and I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle some on top. It's gonna be shiny and sparkly. And go to your local cake store and get some of this luster dust. It's this diamond dust in a little um, spray bottle, and we'll watch what's gonna happen, okay? I'm gonna just put some of that on there. Oh, do you see that glitter? Do you see it? Do you see it? I hope you do. I see glitter everywhere right now. And then I'm just gonna set this back on my little plate. I've got so many pretty berries. I have one left. What should we do with it? Oh, let's drizzle. So I'm gonna drizzle it. 
It's so pretty. And I'll put the ones that I didn't put on yet, which are these little tiny uh, sprinklers. And I'm gonna just put those there. And I think I'm gonna give her a sprinkle of luster dust too, just cause I'm addicted to this stuff. It's so great. All right, done. Look, you got you a plate of awesome uh, chocolate covered strawberries to give to your sweetheart or yourself for the Valentine's Day. All right. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them for me and um, we'll tell me what you want me to make next. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.